Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's talk about Amazon Bedrock and specifically the guardrails, how we can implement the guardrails in Amazon Bedrock agents, right? I have already created three different videos. First, I showed you how to, or let's say getting started with Amazon Bedrock. And the next one was a chat with documents, meaning the RAG applications knowledge basis. And the third one was the Amazon Bedrock agents. I think it's better to create the guardrails video also because guardrails help you guard your agents to derail. Let's say just provide the information that you want the agent to provide. Uh, so how how does the guardrail works? So how do you, uh, let me put it this way. How the video will proceed is first I will just walk you through the documentation that you are seeing on the screen and then we'll I will walk you through the process of creating a guardrail first and then utilizing or implementing that into the agents uh, that I just created in the previous video. Let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the documentation provided by AWS, how guardrails for Amazon Bedrock works, right? Let's just go through this because this is quite, quite important. So guardrails for Amazon Bedrock helps keep your generative AI application safe by evaluating both user inputs and the model responses, right? It guides or let's say guards the inputs as well as the uh, model responses. So you can configure guardrails for your application based on the following considerations, right? So here are some of the considerations. An account can have multiple guardrails each with a different configuration and customized to a specific use case. It's, it's to the point, right? And the a guardrail is a combination of multiple policies configured for prompts and responses, including the content filters, deny topics, sensitive informations, and word filters, and so on. You can use all of those, or you can just use some of that. It's, it's up to you based on your applications. And a guardrail can be configured with a single policy or a combination of multiple policies. And a guardrail can be used with any text only foundation model by refreshing the guardrail during the model inferences. And you can use guardrails with agents and knowledge bases for Amazon Bedrock. I just mentioned in the beginning also, we'll be using with the agents. So you know that you can use that with the knowledge bases also. If used, guardrails work as following during the inference call. So, the, so how does it work also? Let's walk, uh, let's go through this. Here it says that the input is evaluated against the configured policies specified in the guardrail. Furthermore, for improved latency, the input is evaluated in parallel for each configured policy. There is some parallel things going on to improve the inference or the latency. If the input evaluation results in a guardrail intervention, a configured blocked message response is returned and the foundation model inference is discarded. It's clear, right? If the input evaluation succeeds, the model response is then subsequently evaluated against the configured policies in the guardrail. So, as I said you before, the two things, input and the modal responses. First, it checks the input. If that is failed, then it's it's over. It does not go to the modal responses part. But if it passes the input, then it goes into the modal responses and checks if the implied or if the provided policies satisfies the modal output or the responses. If the response results in a guardrail intervention or violation, it will be overridden with pre-configured blocked messaging or masking of the sensitive information, right? It's clear, but this is the most important thing here. And if the responses evaluation succeeds, the response is returned to the application within without any modifications. So you get the idea. It takes the input also, the model responses are just on the higher level to understand. You can go through this documentation. I will provide the link and this is the whole documentation that is provided by Amazon Bedrock. You can just go through and read more how, how it works. And also here there is the supported reasons and the models also being provided where it is supported and what are the models that it can support. Right now, let's go to the Amazon Bedrock. It's the implementation time now. Right. So let's go and say get started. And now first we need to create the guardrails similar to what I did in my previous video when you create the agents also and if you want to use the knowledge base with the agent 
you first need to create the knowledge base and then you can provide that to the agents similarly here also first you need to create the guardrails i will show you a simple example here and and let's see how how it works but to show the simple example i will first go through the agents okay to first understand the guardrails and the question how it differs i will be asking one question right so this is the agent here I will go inside the agent and you can see here I am asking some questions what is open AI and then here when did open AI release GPT-4 right it provided the answer here okay according to the result uh, say source results open AI released GPT-4 on March 14 2023 that is correct right now let's go to the guardrails and here we will create a new guardrail you can give the guardrail for now I'll just give a test here you can give whatever you want and here you can write the description so what is the guardrail about now also i will leave it a blank here and message for blocking prompt so you can provide what you want to provide the message in your application for the blocked prompts right so here sorry the model cannot answer this question this is more than enough for now so apply the same blocked messages for each responses if you uncheck this then you can say a message for blocking responses enter a message to display if your guardrail blocks the model responses so you can provide different messages right now we will say apply the same blocked messages for the responses and now we don't need to go through these things i will go into next next is configure the content filter so it's a harmful categories right enable to detect and block harmful user inputs and model responses use a higher filter strength to increase the likelihood of filtering harmful you can just enable the harmful contents and here you can see filter of prompts if there is the hate or insults or sexual violence misconduct you can say what what is the filter you want to get all are high here i will just keep as it is for now but you can say say that maybe maybe in someone you want to have the medium based on your application right you can some some of things you use you can't or let's say you don't want to use or something like that just play around with this and there is this prompt attacks also what does it mean enable to detect and block user inputs attempting to override the system instructions you have heard that there is a prompt attack happening in the applications right you can prevent already using these guardrails to avoid misclassifying system prompts as a prompt attack and ensure that the filters are selectively applied to user inputs use the input tagging i, I will enable this and here you can see it is it is high right and the next one now here you can add denied topics just as an example what you can do is you can go here and add the denied topics here for example here i will say open ai not any offense but here i will say name is open ai and definition for the topic i will say here if uh, the prompt contains open ai then <laughs> don't answer it no offense right so here you can say add some phrases also here i can say what is open ai maybe someone can ask what is open ai and you can even go and add many things but i will just say confirm this is just an example right and then i will go and say next and here you, you, you can have other old filters also so filter profanity so you can just go here and use for your applications but in this case and also you can add the custom words and phrases as it is mentioned here you can upload uh, from a local file upload from s3 bucket add words and phrases here also and so on just just take your time what is your application consult with your teammates and then make the guardrails accordingly i will just skip this for now add sensitive information filters also you can go here and see pii types for example maybe there are some pii personally identifiable informations you, you want to just uh, let's say hide it or it is saying here specify the types of pii to be filtered and the desired guardrails behavior you can see there are many things you can even use the uh, regex patterns also and so on there is use things and always going through the documentation and implementing all these things might help your application perform better for now i will just go there and i don't want to put any other things i will say next all things looks good i will say create the guardrail so this is just to show you that guardrails work as as we uh, see here okay now this is the guardrails you can already check from here also select the model you can select the model from here 
and then test it but it's the same thing testing here and testing into the agents but when you create something it's better to test here let me go and test for example anthropic i will go with the haiku select the models prompt i will say here what is open ai and i will run this and you can see that okay model response it does not make any responses sorry the model cannot answer the question and here you can see that intervent one instances guardrail actions and if i view the show traces it's a detected open ai topic guardrails behavior and that is block you can see that how it blocks and now if i go and add this into the agent right this is the agent i will go there i will edit in the agent builder i will go down here and there is the guardrail details i will edit this i will go here and choose this guardrail that is just being created i will save and exit and now remember one thing once you update your agents you need to save and exit and you need to prepare it right i will save and exit here and you need to always prepare that so that the latest information is applied to that agents and now if i go here the answer will be the same because it was there before i can just say when did open ai really gpt4 so it should not uh, provide the answer for me sorry the model cannot answer the question right so i hope you get the idea how the guardrails works and as i said you before also just go through this documentation i will provide the link in the description you can find many other videos or blog posts also uh, learn more how to use the guardrails not only in the amazon bedrock but also in your applications also you can use guardrails to make your application better okay that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next video